Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I am back on Race Room for some more action in the WTCR in what is this sort of continuation of this championship season I'm doing. Last round, uh, I didn't actually record the video in the end because I was so ridiculously slow. That was the Slovakia ring. They were at Ningbo International Speed Park track in China. I must admit, after practice, it is definitely one of my favorite tracks on the calendar. There's just so many little tight, twisty corners, mixed a little bit of fast stuff and plenty of curbs, which I, I do like a little bit of curbs. So in this video there, is going to be two races. Uh, there are multiple races on a WTCR weekend, so I thought why not chuck a couple of races in each weekend on this sort of championship mode. Both races 15 minutes, so two quick little sprint races. Now, I have managed to go and qualify off of last because I just munted my entire qualifying session so we'll just uh forget about that one but it does mean we get a little bit of uh racing action we'll uh if we do manage to finish inside the top eight that is a sort of reverse grid going into the second race yeah aiming for a top 10 uh, there's a lot of cars to try and pass but hopefully if we can get a couple on the first lap we can then pick them off one by one the the ai on race room is pretty hectic as you're about to find out um, so yeah, we'll just try to avoid them slash pass them if that makes sense. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go, Ningbo in the WTCR category on race room. What is round number four of this little championship season I have going on? Uh, get this front wheel drive car off the line, pretty decent getaway. Alright, race into turn one, it's a quick sort of double or triple left-hander. It's not going to work. Ah! Alright, that was one way of doing it. Alright, made up a couple. Holy crap, this is so messy. <laughs> During car drivers! Woo! Oh man, I cannot get off this corner to save my life. Alright, well, we've probably got a little bit of front end damage, but oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we made up quite a few spots actually in this first lap. They are pretty uh, reckless on the first lap, I must admit. It's weird, they're like soft, the AI, but at the same time make stupid decisions and tend to be aggressive as much as that doesn't make sense now I think about it oh <laughs> elbows out right, we gotta be aggressive on this first lap because I do not have the pace to probably hold it up where I am right now 16s that's where we finish this one is where we start race two so we gotta get a move on Me some curb. Yoof. Probably <laughs> overdoing it a little bit there, Joseph. Come on. Oh, three wide in front of us. All right, we've gained 11 positions on the first lap. Oh, it's getting hot here. UK summer, mate. Doesn't look that bad on paper, but coming from Australia, I could actually tell you it's it's decent. Just because you can't find air conditioning everywhere, in, like what you can in Australia. This corner is a real killer. I just cannot get off it for some reason. I just lose a good two car lengths off of there. Oh, it's about ruined my left front there. Ah, come on.
careful I don't use up this front tire a little bit too quickly here we got a long way to go still well in spring race terms so far this year I've only had one points finish in six races so we <laughs> we are well down the table in terms of the championship Start putting some performances together and we're on our way to the top 10 right now, 14th. A couple more. There's a little gaggle further ahead of us that we need to get to. So OP off that corner. I lost sight of that Alfa Romeo for a second. Alright, five minutes in, a third of the way there. What we need is the cars in front of us to continue to fight. As us to get closer. Queenie. <laughs> Squeeze me. Alright, one more position, then we're into the points. In fact, if we can get to eighth, that'll give us a pole for race number two. to concentrate on everything that's going on and speak. Uh, be careful of that curb. Ruin your suspension on there. Oh, come on, Joseph. Did it again. Ugh. Nine. starting to wear away a little bit. We're only halfway through the race. Uh, I think <laughs> it's going to be absolutely munted by the end of this one. dive bomb. If you don't mind, two in one. <laughs> Have some of that. Oh, three wide on the exit though. That's not going well. No, go away. Alright. One more position and then we get to start on the pole, come on. Go, baby, go. Uh, 
Uh, shit, no. Okay, yeah, definitely get a warning for that one. <laughs> Basically cut the corner there, but I was not risking this car over that big curb. Oh, man, I'm starting to sweat. This is intense. Alright, come on. Alright. This is pole position for race two. Just not sure if I should push for any more spots or I should just settle for this one. Oh, come on. Got virtually no front tyre left. So we're going to really struggle at these final three minutes. Alright, this is probably going to be the last lap. Come on. Hold on to it. Definitely got pace to pass the car in front. Just, do I want that little bit more of an advantage or do I want some more points? <laughs> Screw it, I'll take the points. <laughs> I reckon we, we, uh, I don't know, freaking hell, same corner every time, just cannot get it right, so enticingly, um, narrow and tight, I just keep overshooting. No, come on, just nurse this thing to the finish. gonna say before is that if we can have the same or similar pace in the next race we could be on for a good finish because we have started last and gone all the way up to seventh in 15 minutes it's gonna be interesting to see what we can do from the front row of the grid seventh place finish Woo! more points needed that one so move on to race number two Alrighty, here we go, race number two. This is the furthest forward I've started all season, so let's try and make use of it. Come on, don't screw this up. Wait for the lights to go out. Not the best of getaways, but it's not terrible. Faster than the Alpha towards the end of the race. A little bit of late light <laughs> dive bomb there. Ah, come on, don't let the leader get away.
Alright, so currently where we started after the first lap. What a right old ding dong for second place. <laughs> right now but hopefully it gets better through this sector. So it's definitely where we have to try and capitalize. I definitely think the AI on Race Room is probably the best AI out there. Better than R Factor. Oh, <laughs> slight escort there. Anyway. Uh, stop locking up, Joseph. No freaking tire left. Side by side for the lead. You. much they break for that corner. <laughs> Serious late lunges. I just cannot get off this damn long right-hander. That's where I lose all my time is through there. Oh, okay. As my mum always used to tell, you, <laughs> tell me, I was only showing him how fast he should be going into that corner. <laughs> That was the sort of mother I had as a racing mum. It's not the corner you want to go around the outside, Joseph. Come on. Just parked it in front of him there, <laughs> made it work. See if we can actually get away here. That's a loss of curb. Yeah, we <laughs> do have like the entire field in one long row behind us. Come on. Why I'm locking up the fronts more this race than what it was in race one. Man, it is hot in her. Oh, come on, man. We're gonna have no front tire, front tire left by the end of this one. I thought I wore him out pretty bad in the first race, but I just can't stop locking the friggin' tyres up. I just need to try and hold the lead through that first sector. We're actually here on out for the rest of the lap, we seem to be fine.
halfway there. Keep it going. Fuck's sake, man. I get one more of those and I think I get a penalty. I've got to be careful here. I do not want to lose this opportunity to win. That long right-hander and that hairpin, I suck. No idea why. Stop dead in these hairpins, these the friggin' AI on this game. Yeah, I think I've just used up a little bit too much tire in this one. I've got five minutes to go. See if we can hold on for a podium. In terms of the actual difficulty that I've got the AI set to, I've got them set to the hardest that they <laughs> it could possibly go. So this is as fast as the AI can get. and try and pass this guy, I just keep overshooting every single lap. This is where he started to slow in the first race, so let's see if we can have that same sort of pace differentials that we did in the first one. Come on. Got two laps to go. Come on. This is like being back in go-karts, that's what it feels like. much in that corner. Got him. I just need to, when I pass him, I need to sort of park it right as he goes to put his foot down. Just park it in front of him. Last lap, here we go. 
Come on. One minute and 53 seconds. Hold on to it. Concentrate. He overfilled the car in these two races. It's got like 11 liters left. Last couple of corners. Yeehoo! Yes! Oh, let's go! Far out, man! Eight races later, I finally get a win. <laughs> Jeez, that took way longer than it should have. Alright. So, seventh in race one, first in race number two. How does that put us in the points now? Wow, it shot us right up into the top ten. That's that's a result. And we were all the way like down here. Oh man, I am just absolutely wasted right now. That was that was a really <laughs> tough two races, man. It, and it is really hot in here. All right, well, thanks guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for more race room action throughout the year. We'll be back in the WTC. I think next up we're going to check out Macau, which is a track I haven't driven on in sim racing in a long time, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, but, yeah, stay tuned for that. And until then, I'll catch you guys later.